Hello, welcome to codesnippet.java. In this video, we are going to cover the life cycle of thread in Java. So let's get started directly. So let me bring up the life cycle diagram over here. I hope you can see it. So this is a potential diagram of thread from starting to end. So let's go through all the steps one by one. And we will also cover the demo part. We will actually get our hands dirty and write some code and try to execute it. So here, whenever we create a thread, it will be created as a new thread. So the state of the thread will be new. After that, once we start our thread, it will come into a runnable state. So if you see this chunk here, it is a runnable state of a thread. So here either the thread will be ready to run or rather it will be running. So let's do one thing. Let's go and check out this state first in the code. So let's jump into IntelliJ. So here I already have one class which have a main method and here I'm creating a thread right after creating a thread, I am trying to print the state. So get state is a function which will return a state of the function at that particular time. So if we execute this code, let's see what will be the output. So as you can see here, we have new. Okay. So just after creating a thread, we are running this code and we are getting new as output. Our next part was or our next state was runnable. So when we were getting this state after starting the thread, right you see start here okay so let's start this thread so what i will do t dot start i will do this will start our thread now we have created and started thread now we are printing the state right now if i run this code again let's see what will happen can you see it so now the state of the thread is runnable as we have started it so that state might be in ready to run or might be running right that will be decided by our thread executor so let's go to the bottom and check this non-runnable part as the name suggests non-runnable means the thread is not running at that point now there are three stages here timed waiting waiting and blocked so timed waiting when we want to wait on a thread we will give some uh, thread dot sleep right for few seconds right so let's try and give some sleep and let's see what happens here, I already have some code written to save time. So I, I will go through this code quickly and then we will try to execute it, right? So I created a runnable class here. If you see here, it, this is a runnable class, which is implementing runnable interface. And I have this run method overridden here, right? And I'm creating a new thread over here by using this runnable thread, right? And I'm saying thread dot start. The moment I say this, it will go here and start running it. And here, if you see, I'm sleeping it for five seconds after doing thread dot sleep for thousand milliseconds i'm printing t1 dot get state right after thousand seconds this thread will be still running because it will be waiting for five seconds right five thousand milliseconds so after first thousand milliseconds we will print this and we will get the state of the thread at that point so let's try and execute this code here so as you can see we are getting timed waiting as a output and See, it took some time to execute the code as we are waiting for five seconds and after five seconds, the process got exited, right? So what I wanted to show was the time waiting state at this point of time, right? So that we have seen. So this one also we covered. Next is waiting, right? So let's say there are two threads running and we join one thread to another. Okay. So in that case, the first thread will need to wait. So this is that kind of wait. Okay. So let's try and give it a demo. Uh, so I also have code written for this. So let's go through this. So T1 we have declared here already and we are trying to initialize it here, right? And we are doing new waiting state. So if we go inside waiting state, it's the same class which is implementing runnable interface, right? Now I will do T1 dot start. Now where is the run method? Here is the run method. So once we do T1 dot start, it will go into run method, right? Now here, we are creating another thread. Now here first, what we are doing, we are creating another thread T2. Okay. So T1 will create T2, right? It will create a new thread using this demo waiting state runnable. This is another class which is implementing runnable interface and we are just waiting here for 1000 millis, right? Let's come back to here. Uh, so we'll start it. And after that, what we will do, we'll do T2.join. T1 will now wait until the execution of T2 is completed, right? And while we are executing T2 here in the run, we are trying to print the state of T1. So this particular output we will get on the console. So let's try to run this code and let's see what happens. 
there we go so t1 is waiting for t2 to complete so this is a waiting state of thread right so that also we have covered let's see what's next next is blocked the block as the name suggests the thread is blocked for another task to be completed let's try to demonstrate that as well so here i have block state class created and uh, main method i have two threads i'm creating both of them by using this demo block runnable which implements runnable and have run method inside run method we have one common resource method and here i'm just running a while loop so first thread that we will start will keep on running infinitely and at that point we'll try to print the state of t2 and let's see what happens t1 and t2 we are declaring and we are starting t1 and after that we are starting t2 and we are trying to get the state of t2 remember when the t1 will start it will go to this run method will go to this common resource method and it will run infinitely and won't leave this runnable right and when we try to start t2 this should be blocked because t1 is running infinitely now let's try to run this code and let's see what is the output there we go so t2 is blocked because of t1 is running infinitely now we arrived at the final state of the thread which is terminated so once the task of the thread is completed it will be terminated right so let's see here i have main method here i am creating a new thread and i am starting it i am not doing any processing in this run right so it should be completed within first millis right so still i am waiting for 1000 milliseconds and after that i am printing the state of it so let's run this see so the thread is terminated because the execution is done so this is a potential life cycle of threads these are the steps from which a thread goes through I hope this video was helpful for everyone and thanks for watching if you like the video just hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends